Here is another uh, CC group song, and it will be the last group song for this service. Let's invite them to present your special number. Come, now is the time to worship. so honored uh, to have this privilege 
for speaking. I know very well the story of Tosifinisi from day one. And I would like to say LCEC is, is a modern day miracle. The director of the school, Marion Tian, as you call her, is God's special choice, God's special vessel to bring about this miracle. She started out with a vision and faith. And that's all she had when she started this school. She had no money, no sponsor, no building. Practically, she started this school from scratch. But in 10 years' time, LCEC has become the most successful schools in our region with some 500 students. And the Lord provided this very magnificent building some five, six years ago. Why this success? Why this achievement? Number one, the founder, Sister Tian, has the right motive when she started this goal. That is to glorify the Lord. That's her motive. Number two, she started this school for others, not for herself. Her objective is to train, to train children in the Lord's way and teach the children English, that is international language today. If you want to be successful in any given field, you need to be well versed in this international language. With, two, with these two reasons, to train children in the Lord's way and to teach the international language in this, she, Sister Tian, started this school. Number three, Sister Tian is free from the love of money and fame. That is the downfall of many people when they started ministry. Even though the Lord has given her this kind of success, she keeps herself humble and she lives humble life. You might be surprised to know that she has not had a house of herself even today. She is free from the love of this world and the things of this world. And number four, she is successful because she is a person of integrity, honesty, conviction, and discipline. She also is a very hard-working person. And this good qualities of her has made her success. And the last, but not the least, she is very good at interpersonal relationship. Her teachers are workers as well as our students. Love and respect her at the same time. The Lord chose Sister John to start this school and endow her with all these good needed qualities. And that's why this school has become what it is today. So I praise the Lord for His guidance, His leading, His provisions, His protection in the past 10 years. And I give my respect and my admiration to Sister Jiang for his vision, his dedication, and for his outstanding leadership. And a big congratulations to all of you who have played a part 
in the ministry of this wonderful school. And it is my earnest prayer that the Lord would continue to guide, lead, provide, and protect, and use LCEC for His own glory, even in a mightier way in days to come. Since this is a Thanksgiving ceremony, I would like to share a short sharing on the topic of thankfulness of Thanksgiving. We human beings are unthankful by nature. Ever since sin has come into this world, we tend to look at the negative side instead of the positive side. Instead of giving thanks, we complain. When you study the story of the Israelites in the wilderness, the Lord provided them everything they needed. But they never give thanks. Instead of giving thanks, they complain and complain and complain. And they are not exceptional. We, including all of us, are unthankful by nature. We somehow believe that we deserve every good thing. And therefore, from today, we need to learn to be thankful instead of complaining. Instead of murmuring, we need to learn to be thankful. In order to be thankful, we need to realize that we don't deserve the blessings that we receive. The first step to be thankful is to realize that we don't deserve the blessings that we receive today. As sinful people, what we deserve is hell. So if it is not hell, everything is God's blessing. You know, we need to realize that. What you receive is not hell. Then what you receive is God's blessing. We need to realize that we receive all these good things. Not because of our merit, not because of our goodness, not because that we deserve, but God because of God's grace and His grace alone. In James chapter 1 verse 7, it is said, Every good gift comes from above, from God. So this LCEC, the director of this school, Sister John, comes from the good God who is in heaven. We don't deserve this kind of blessing, but God has given to us through His grace. And we need to realize that we don't deserve this kind of blessing. David, when he first became the king of Israel, he realized that he didn't deserve to be king. And therefore he gave, he gave thanks to the Lord and he prayed like this, Lord, who am I and what is my family that you have brought me this far? Who am I? Today we should say the same thing. Who am I, Lord? And what is my family that you have brought me this far? The great evangelist of our time, Billy Graham, said, The first thing I would ask God when I get to heaven is, Why me, Lord? Why me, Lord? Why me, Lord, that you chose me to be your, ch your child? Why me, Lord, that you have chosen me to be a great evangelist who preached to millions of people around the world? Why me? I am a poor boy from North Carolina in the United States of America. My family is very poor. I am uneducated. Why me? Lord, that you use in this way. And we need to have the same kind of spirit when God bless us, when God uses us. Why us? We don't know. 
But God in His grace has given us these blessings, has used us in this way, even though we don't deserve. The second step to be thankful is to ponder, to think about our past lives and God's goodness. The eighth word, thankfulness, comes from thankfulness. We need to think, we need to ponder about our lives, our past life, our roots, our background. And we need to think about the blessings, we need to count our blessings. If we count our blessings, then we want to praise the Lord, we want to thank the Lord. If we look at what background or roots, we realize that we don't deserve these so many blessings that we are enjoying today. So you need, you need to think about your life. Think again and again. Think often about your past life, the way the Lord has led us, the way the Lord has provided our needs, and the Lord, the way the Lord has protected us from harms and so on. We need to think. Sometimes we take for granted the blessings that we receive. But we need to think and we need to remember our roots, our background, as well as the blessings that the Lord has bestowed upon us are deserved. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20, the scripture tells us to give thanks for all things, for everything. Today we give thanks to the Lord for the many blessings, the good things that He has bestowed upon this school, and that is good. But we need to give thanks to the Lord, not just for good things, but also for bad things. If we see as God says, there is no such thing as bad things. Everything works together for the good of believers. Joseph when he was sold by his brothers, that was not good from human standpoint. But that was good in God's sight because that is the means and the way that he could become the prime minister in Egypt. So that he could save his family and many other people. When Paul and Silas was jailed in the city of Philippi, they don't they didn't complain. They didn't murmur. They didn't blame God for their suffering, but they praised the Lord in the prison. And that praise opened the gates of the prison. And they were free. And the jailer was confirmed. He and his family received Jesus Christ as the personal Savior and Lord. Therefore, today, let's try to give thanks to the Lord for everything that happened to our lives. Talking is easy, but practicing is hard. Still, we need to practice, we need to train ourselves to give thanks to the Lord for everything, even the negative and the bad things. When also Ephesians 5.20 We need to praise the Lord and thank the Lord all the time. Before the blessings come, when we receive the blessing, after the blessing has gone, we need to praise and thank the Lord always. Giving thanks to God always. That is the command of the Bible. Therefore, we need to thank the Lord for everything at all times. How to give thanks to the Lord? Number one, 
We can give thanks to the Lord in words by speaking. We can say, thank you Lord for giving me this and that. That is one way to give thanks to the Lord. And the other way is to do things like this. To celebrate His goodness. To celebrate the victory or achievement that He has given us. And the third thing and the most important thing is to use the blessings that He has given us for His own glory. That is the most important way to give thanks. To use the blessings for His own glory. Why we need to give thanks? Number one, it is the command of the Bible. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18, we are commanded to give thanks. And it is the will of God. In 1 Thessalonians, the same verse, chapter 5 verse 18, and we know that giving thanks pleases God. In Luke chapter 17 verses 11 to 19, here, the Lord Jesus Christ healed ten people, ten lepers. And one leper was a Samaritan. The other ones were Jewish. This Samaritan, one leper came back to the Lord Jesus Christ and said, Thank you, Lord, for healing. Then the Lord Jesus Christ asked, Ten are healed. Where are the nine? That means that the Lord Jesus Christ expected giving thanks from the people of the world. Therefore, giving thanks pleases the Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks pleases God. You know, what is the purpose of our life here on this earth? Just one purpose. The existence of your life in this world has only one purpose and one purpose only and that is to please the Lord in everything you do. That's all. And giving thanks pleases the Lord and therefore we need to give thanks to the Lord for everything at all times. And that is a successful life, a happy life, a victorious life. And the last reason we should give thanks is giving thanks makes another blessing flows. When the Lord blesses you and you don't give thanks, the Lord may not give you the next blessing. But if you give thanks for what you receive, the Lord will be willing to give you more, greater blessings in the future. We live human beings too. When we give somebody something, and he doesn't say anything, he doesn't say a word of thanks, you might not want to give him or her in the future, anything that she or he has. But if he or she expresses our thanks, then we might want to give him or her the next time he or she comes. And God is like us too. Therefore, if you want to let the blessings flow communally, you need to give thanks coming on. That's the way to receive God's blessings all the time. I really thank the Lord for this school. I thank the Lord for the director of this school, Sister Jia. I thank the Lord for all the faithful, dedicated teachers. And I thank the Lord for all the pupils, students, for coming here. You are so privileged. You are so blessed to be students of and it is my prayer, as I have said, 
that the Lord will continue to guide and lead and provide all the needs of this school, protect from any harm, and continue to use this school for His glory, even in a great time and mighty way in days to come. May God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Shabun, for your inspired message. We are really blessed through the message. We thank the Lord for being with us throughout this session. On behalf of uh, LCEC family, uh, I would like to express our gratitude to all uh, who are coming here today. Uh, we appreciate all of you for your presence at this manner. Thank you for coming. Please enjoy watching the entertainment for our kids and don't leave us without enjoying the prepared dinner after the service is over. For closing our Thanksgiving service, let's all rise up and sing hymn number two, Each Step I Take. And after we have sung this song, may I request Siapada to have this service with, to close this service with a word of prayer.
Lord make them to be like Paul, to be a great witness, to, to, to transform the lives of the many people who live in Myanmar. Lord, thank you for this time. And Lord, thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Heavenly Father, the communion and the blessing of the Holy Spirit be abide with us both now and forevermore. Amen.
it, turn it, turn it, turn it up in your system. From the streets of the Bronx, New York, to Hong Kong, we sing it out of bed and we all laugh at it. We look back in the past, it's my passion. We are the days of the corporate great beast of this beast of speech and MJ. And all the veterans who never been let him in, who never saw the city from the top of the Sheridan. And all my heroes who never been let out, who never rocked the limo in the back of the limo. When we need more chance, cause it's making more sense and I can't cry cause it's real to get a cry.
que no sabe lo que se acaba de vivir. Se mala, pide que no la dé, 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 que no Dice que no la ve, 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 que no la ทำให้เราเกิดมาอย่างเหตุนั้นก็อาจจะเป็นเรื่องทำให้เราสายอาทิตย์เรื่องอะไรทำให้สายอย่างนี้ทุกใจอย่างนี้เราเป็นเราเ
Tes tout ça, oui. Ça va?
ไม่ใช่ไหนก็ได้ไม่ใช่ไหนก็ได้ไม่ใช่ไหนก็ได้ไม่ใช่ไหนก็ได้ไม่ใช่ไหนก็ได้ไม่ใช่ไหนก็
บ้านตำรวจจะบวยเขตเต้าเสียมาเชียงมูขังนางคบเวลาเกิดจริงกินอีสิคุณบองน้อยดูตันไปหน้าเลยจ้าเอลซีซีเล่เสียมาเชียงผมขัดส่วนนะกันสิละเดี๋ยวจะมาภาษาละเดี๋ยวมาเต็มตัวกี่มาถึงที่ตายภาษาละตายเงินสังเนี่ยจริงมั้งภาษาละคิดจะตัวกี่เพลฟันหนึ่งนาเลียนเซมเจตัวเจี๊ยบไว้ดังหอมมันลูกเออ No beta, salu nak kem nak cia. LCC kum som chin na zubili pipen. ตันุเตกิเซนมาไหมไม่คุ้นสักเงี้ยงังเว้ยนั่นมีเมียนเมียนจับลายตะคองมาสวกสักเสียเสียเสียพาวน์นู้วิดีโอจะยาบวยมาหมาลายตะคี Kau sangin, hihi pensuang lengan cizoluakai be. 
ครับขอสวงโลกแบบที่มาเลยว่าครับว่าไปได้ที่ตึงใจก็ทำนี่นะครับว่าเป็นตั้งเยอะเลยไม่ควงนี่เขาบอกเขาบอกเราโพสต์ไปไหนเลยเขาบอกไปสิสิมาเนี่ยตรงสลัดจีตันปูจงตันอุยนะอดียังแก่เฮียเอลซีซีเทจูบิลีตักตักเป็นอควาควานะกี่ปีสามมาเฮียจะมาเจ้าภาษาเนี่ยจะมากี่จงนอนเจียนเดียมกันรอบเต้นปุ่มขัดส่วนนะเอลซีซีเสียมาเจียนจี้เฮ้ยแต่นั่นหลักเกลือมันเอาไม่ได้ตัวมั้งไอ้ตัวตัวมันสังมั้ง